Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm taking you to my graduation. Hi guys, we arrived to the graduation centre. My first question for you today, Anna, is are you a morning person or an evening person? Evening person. Evening, yeah. okay. Yeah. And what are you graduating in today? Marketing. Of course, it's raining because we're in England and that's just how it goes. Yeah. Right? Yes. So let's go in. Yeah, let's go in. Got my tickets and now we are ready to get the gown. Is it exciting for you, like seeing the Barbican for the first time? Yeah, it's way bigger than expected. And how does it feel to be graduating today? Exciting? Yeah, exciting. <laughs> Nothing else to say. <laughs> Are you nervous at all? Not at all. Maybe later, maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> and what led you to study here at London Map? Because the community is very diverse and I know, I knew I'm not going to feel alone. What was the most significant academic challenge you faced during your time at university and how did you overcome it? It was navigating the campus, it's huge. And yeah, it takes time, it takes time. At least a month. <laughs> <laughs> so Anna, you're thinking about your course and your lecturers. Who had the biggest impact on you? I would say the lecturer John. Um, he was always there to support me, uh, help me with any problems or questions I had. and. Yeah, he, he was the biggest support. Come on, for everyone out there, how did you strike a balance between your academic, extracurriculars and personal life while studying at university? Well, it is challenging, but it's only a couple of years of your life and it's very worth it. How has your perspective on marketing changed since starting your degree versus now? So before I started studying marketing, I thought it's more all about ads and sales, but it's so much more in that. It's so much more of market analysis, understanding how people feel, their emotions, and it's very psychological as well, which is one of my favorite parts of the marketing. University isn't perfect. Can you please reflect on any mistakes you've made? Sure. The biggest mistake is I always think I have time, but I never have time. I always submit everything last minute. But you know what? It worked out for me. <laughs> Don't repeat my mistake and use your Google Calendar. How did your relationship with your professors, lecturers and mentors affect your learning and development at university? Um, they were way more approachable and accessible than I expected them to be. Um, and it created this personal relationship which allowed me to grow and allowed me to gain more confidence in asking questions, in understanding the topic that I wanted to understand better. Um, and yeah, use that opportunity. <laughs> So you've just come up with your graduation, the ceremony was amazing, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, you know, like it's a big relief, now I feel like it's, I don't want to say it's finally over, but you know, it's over, like I can just enjoy, I can embrace my diploma and just, yeah, it's a new chapter of my life. What advice would you give to a new student? Um, start networking quite soon, it's very important you build your network, you know many people, um, and it's just going to boost your confidence. Would you say your course offered a variety of modules and which was your favourite? My favourite module was digital marketing because we learned a lot about many different tools we can use to analyse the market. Um, and yeah, I think it's very useful for the future. So at university you can have any superpower, what would it be? Um, to go back in time, <laughs> just to give myself more time to we do maybe some assignments, but all in all, I think, I think I'm happy with, it, with what I did. So time travel, that's a cool one. Oh, yeah. That's a cool one. <laughs> How did you manage stress at university? I like to go out with my friends, go to the gym sometimes. I'm quite lazy. Uh, <laughs> um, travel, I travel a lot. So is there a particular book or research paper or maybe even a quote that's profoundly influenced your academic and personal beliefs? Creativity is intelligence having fun. It's, it's just it just teaches you to express yourself, not be afraid to show what you know, what you would like to know. Now to reflect on your time at university, 
What aspects of university life will you cherish the most as you graduate and move into the next phase of your life? I think just getting to know so many people as academics, as in friends, as in co-workers it's just something that builds your experience overall and I think it's one of the most important things of academic life is just embrace everyone and get to know everyone, yeah. And what's your favourite way to unwind at the end of the day? I like to go to a decent pub with my friend. <laughs> That's a very British thing to do. It is. We've, we've, we've taken over, you're one of us now. Yes. <laughs> okay, so my second to last question is what excites you the most as you step into the world beyond university embracing new challenges? Um, that I'm getting my dream job, that I finally am stepping into the adult world, like professional world where I don't want to say I'm going to be alone but I won't need so much support from my family I would say and it's just yeah getting into adult life. My final question, very, very loaded, of course. I hope you think about this greatly. If you can describe your university experience in one word, what would it be? Amazing, I have nothing else to say. I have nothing else to say. It, it, is, it is amazing, it's just, when you reflect on everything you did, it was stressful, it was challenging, but at the end of the day, you just need to believe in yourself, cheesy as it is. Um, and you're going to meet great people. I keep repeating the same thing, but there's just something I'm going to take away from my education. Awesome. Well, thank you for answering our questions, Anna, and enjoy your celebrations. Thank you. I will.